All right, guys, welcome to tonight's video. We're going to just, uh, you know, yesterday was top lane. Today we're going to talk about junglers and my opinion on the jungle role, how I view it when I watch the game, and uh, comment down below if you have, you know, if you, you agree or disagree or whatever the hell. Um, so, as far as the jungle role is concerned to me, um, you have facilitators and you have carry oriented junglers. I think it's pretty cut and dry. Um, the, the difference between the two facilitators are going to go get a, another player ahead. Therefore, facilitate the game, facilitate a lead for somebody else, an outnumber situation. Gank your face off. Get somebody ahead. Identify the matchup. We're playing a Sejuani. We're playing a Rel. Maokai, you know, can play kind of both, but we know that Maokai more is, it can be more oriented to be a facilitator. But regardless, you have your facilitators and you have your carries. Brand, Graves, this meta. Uh, Viego can be that way. Um, you know, I would like to think Wukong could be that way. Um, we see a lot of Vi. Vi is more of a facilitator. People build her in a way that, you know, they're trying to get all this gold to be an ulti bot. And in which case, I just think that's kind of silly. I don't think that Vi has, um, excuse me, a lot of um, value outside of being, you know, an ulti bot. So why give her all that gold? I think it's kind of silly. I think you should be giving it to a another solo, uh, one of the solo laners or a bot laner. But regardless... Vi, more facilitator. Um, said Rao, Sejuani. Trundle, facilitator. Zin Zhao, we're seeing it be built in a way that, okay, he's a heavy bruiser that also is, is integral to team fights. You want him to tank, but I also feel like teams are over-indexing into how much they give Zin Zhao in terms of gold. We see a lot of high teens, up to 20% of a team's gold given to a Zin, where on a more facilitator-oriented jungler like a Rel, you may see 12%, and that means you have an 8% difference in gold share between two junglers, right? And I don't see a Zin Zhao being a carry-oriented jungler enough to offset how much Rel is giving up to their teammates to then out-carry that Zin Zhao, if that makes sense. Um, because if you, you have the pie, where is the other 8% going? Well, it's going to somebody else that I think is more consistent in terms of a carry historically and just in general, right? I don't see this as a, you know, I see this jungle meta as being both. It could be either or. We see brand games and, and obviously hard carry games. Um, see some jacks carry games and things like that, but see a lot of Rel and Sejuani, right? And those teams are getting carried by the bot lane or the mid lane instead of being carried by the jungle, which is historically, at least recently, not as as viable and consistent and um you know a lot of people want to make it seem like um you know they want it to be a carry oriented meta and i think the jungle meta is in a decent place in pro because it can be both um sure it's not fully carry but it can it can be both and teams can build around it being both and make it worthwhile to a degree so i would say that it's a pretty good spot to be in that you can play Brand or Graves, or you can play Lee Sin or Vi or Sejuani or whatever, and have have value. Um, now, when carry-oriented junglers are picked, I do think that there is their role is, I mean, it's a carry-oriented pick, right? If you're getting 20% of the team's gold, you better be dealing more damage than you normally deal. We're looking at mid, a hot, you're a second to third tier carry on the team. Somebody has taken a facilitator role that you did not pick, right? So the top lane may be playing Orn. Maybe playing Kaysante, maybe playing Nar, more of a bruiser, weak side champion, Scion even to that degree, Malphite, mid lane might be playing something that's a little more passive, that has more value as a facilitator as well, instead of a carry oriented mid lane pick um, to offset that that jungle carry, right? The lack of um, CC, the lack of, you know, if you don't have a buy all all of a sudden you do need lockdown, right? You need consistency. So you need something that's hard and, and going to actually take out the enemy AD carry, right? Or mid laner or whoever is carrying. So with that in mind that, that you know, the jungle role, if you're playing carry, somebody else has to play your role of being a facilitator and you have to carry. And historically, only so many junglers actually can do that effectively, especially right now. Forget historically, like... You see these carry-oriented junglers play, and it's like, okay, well, now we know that you can play carries, but can you facilitate? And there are some junglers that simply can't. They can't play to give their teammates a lead and let their teammates carry. So, in my opinion, if you're against that jungler, you ban the hell out of them, you force them onto a facilitator that they don't want to be on, and you put them in a hole because now they don't know how to get their teammates ahead. They don't know how to be a team player, and we see that time and time again with players um, around the world, right, that can't handle playing for the team 
In my opinion, the jungle role is a glorified support role a lot of the time. Your job is to align with what the team's goals are. What lane here of the three lanes needs to get ahead? Which one needs help, right? And um, it's all up to the jungler to determine that. And, you know, you see in solo queue, a lot of people get upset and say, oh, well, you know, your, my jungler's not helping me, my jungle diff, this and that. And it's like, evidently, your jungler looks at your matchup and either thinks two of things, two of one of two things. Either you should be able to handle it, you should be good enough to handle it, this matchup is a matchup you should win, or two, you're so far gone in this matchup this is not, you are not on a champion that can be, that can bail out this comp. I have to go elsewhere and you, your job is to play weak side, not die. I mean, a lot of people don't like that because, you know, no one wants to be the facilitator. That's kind of the gist of this. Junglers do not want to be facilitators. But in my opinion, I think it'd be fun to just go around the rift and ganking and just pissing people off. Um, you know, when I played, played, um, support when i played solo queue that was one of the best parts was roaming and making things happen and pissing the enemy off or forcing the jungler down to bot lane by playing overly aggressive but with heavy warding efficient vision control never allowing the gank to actually come to anything because i use proper vision you know and i, I mean it's solo queue it's not pro play or not anything but i think it's common sense regardless we don't see it enough in pro play the proper use of wards proper placement of wards and hey drawing pressure from the jungler get the jungler to bot lane get the jungler to top and then take the opposite side you know now know you're drawing the jungler away the jungler is not going to actually get anything out of it because you have just shoved in the lane so you got a bunch of gold anyways and you're, you're backing out right you're not losing as much so um you know and then you look at junglers say facilitators as well so you're ganking and you're getting the team ahead with drakes Maybe you're getting the Grubs or the Rift Herald. Now, the team's ahead. And whether we like it or not, I'm sure Soul is still at like an 80 plus win rate right now. Last year was like 90 something percent for most of the Souls. Like you're gonna win the, win the series, win the game. Soul is still, was a win con and I doubt it's changed if you really looked at the numbers. So, and people say, oh, well, yeah, well, a team that's ahead usually has Soul. And it's like, yeah, because their jungler to chose to facilitate went into lane and ganked and made things happen they didn't farm till six and gave up the first drake to do that i just feel like that's not it's not viable it's just not viable um but you know that that is what it is that's my opinion on the jungle roll thank you for watching if you liked the video like it subscribe to the channel for daily league of legends content follow me on twitter join the discord become a youtube supporter and hope to see you again tomorrow